would you say, um, for sake of clarity, uh, on this matter? Um, you've completely left, you know, the, 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 the NDC. Don't you regret that, you know, some of your former colleagues now uh, are in government with something that you started and now you've just left it along the way? Some you, you've, you've produced ministers through the NDC alliance. In life, mm. there's what we call destiny mm. and fate. Mm. And not everything that glitter is gold. Mm. Being in government is one thing. But being in a wrong government and a performing government is another thing. I wouldn't have wanted to be part of this failure that we are seeing now. This a government which tells you something today and does the opposite. For instance, they were saying that PF were stealing on the fertilizer because they were, they were, buying, they were buying fertilizer from the suppliers at $1,000 per ton. Today, they've given a contract to supply a fertilizer to the government from a non-businessman at $1,400 per ton. When they were saying, when we come, we'll make sure that we'll lower the cost from $1,000 to probably about $700 uh, per ton. And probably that's the market today, price. Today, mm. the same people... What, who are, what, what is the current market price of fertilizer on the international market? Well... They gave another uh, a contract, same period, to nitrogen chemicals to supply at $1,000. Then they gave this other businessman who is connected to them at $1,400. What do you call that? Well, probably they're, they're, they're hidden what costs. Do you call, what the, hidden costs? Mm. They promised the people mm. Costa. But, 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 but when we come, they said the $1,000 is well beyond. But Dr. Kambuli, just like, uh, uh, just like President Lungu used to say, when corruption allegations are leveled, show me the evidence. Why, this is the evidence. Why isn't this being reported? Why this not is report the evidence. It? Why not report I mean, it? Uh, you see, this idea of Zambians saying when you have evidence like this, unless you report, that's when people will be followed up, should come to an end. It is all over social media. It is all over. But, but, it is but, in but, public but, but, domain. But social media is it not is the duty, put before a court. It is the duty of the anti-corruption commission. To investigate all allegations they should not wait until somebody reports look on the supply of fuel a man who went and bought it is it a nectar or a jacket for the president at 2.5 million two months later is given a contract to supply fuel and oil all those are does it? all those are unsubstantiated allegations whether whether, whether a man buys a tie or a jacket just like you my if, dear if, brother if, just just hold on just like you, if he does business should he should he not participate in doing business with my, my, my dear brother these are things that we should avoid no but but for but, me but, but, but if he's a zambian and he's me, got the capacity to supply fuel what is wrong with that honorable company? how about the other people who are not picked what is wrong how about with that? The, the other people who are not picked who had given the uh, but, same but, 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 just like, but just like in your party pf they were friends of the party supplying fuel friends of the party that supplying is fertilizer. why that that is why the pf is out of government and because we are out of government, we are now reflecting on these mistakes. And we are telling the people of Zambia, we are sorry about these things that were done wrongly. And once entrusted with the power again, these things will never happen. But our friends have started doing exactly what they were condemning. But if you this is the most if, unfortunate part. If you are saying these things will never happen, how will they not happen if you are maintaining the same uh, 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 crop of leaders, if you are maintaining the same old ways of doing things as a peer because we, we haven't seen you rebrand what we are seeing is just a collective number of people grouping together against arrests but it's still the same old rank and we fire. are still rebranding we have not finished the rebranding uh, 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 poster for you to say that we are seeing the same people we are going to the convention a new leadership will be ushered into office. Wait until that is done. For you to say that we are seeing the same people and you are not changing the ways, it's too early to say that. You say it's too, it's early, too early for early. us to judge the PF to have rebranded. Is it not too early to judge the We UPNB? have not rebranded. Is, isn't it too early to judge the UPNB we have not, five months into government? We have. Do you need five months for one to tell you that selling 
a fertilizer to the government at one thousand dollars is theft, is corruption, then which is you the, buy, which which hasn't been proven. It has been proven uh, unless unless somebody is convicted b before a competent court of jurisdiction, it will still be social media well, banter. I think if that nobody reports it, it will still be social media banter. I think this is the problem that we have. What, what has been proven is that somebody stashed Can 65 we... million kwacha in the house and they forfeited it to the state. That is proof. But I've... as long as it's social media banter, Honorable Kambuli, we cannot accept it as daylight corruption. Unless somebody is coming. Costa, Costa, mm. the problem that you, the media, have, you are so scared of governments in power. And I'm not here for you to ask me whether it has been proved or not. It is a fact that Mr. Janguru has been given a contract to supply uh, fertilizer at $1,400 per dollar. $1,400 dollars per ton. When they were condemning PF. I've asked you, what is the, what is the international price on the market this i've told you also to say that mm. in the same period they have given a contract to nitrogen chemicals to supply at 1000 mm. why should they give a parastatal mm. to supply at 1000 and give so a private reporting and company other, and other factors they should not have gone to him they should have bought mm. from I, I, I'll, I'll give you another example they should listen you are saying mm. if they are it is importing and their uh, 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 associated costs. They should have not gone to buy from him. They should have buy, bought from Nitrogen Chemicals, who are 1,000. When you were the doctor, come, Willie, we knew who, who stood for the people. For example, over the... Fact I have always... Uh, over the, uh, I have always stood let, for let the me justify, I have always Let, let me justify my statement. Yes. During the fire tender scandal, mm. during the ambulance scandal, mm. the doctor, come, Willie, we know, mm. would produce evidence of how much... Uh, at Toyota, an ambulance or a, 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 a truck would cost what the international price. So that's a doctor Kambuli we know who'd give us comparison. So, so why, you, haven't, why if, haven't you gone deeper to 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 to, to be the doctor Kambuli you know, when, and lay the evidence when, on the table? When we are coming mm. for an interview, you mm. don't tell me what questions you are going to ask. So how would I have known that no, the mean, issue of the, the fertilizer issue is you who's brought it up? Issue, and, uh, and it's it, been it, in the public domain. This debate it has, has been only there. it has Look only on come. Mm. I have proved it myself. Mm. I have proved it. I've asked the people who are in charge of buying fertilizer at Minister of uh, uh, Agriculture, and they've confirmed. So what I'm trying to say is that I don't want to be part of a government like UPND, which you turns on almost everything that they said. Mm. They promised people that we're going to reduce uh, 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 fuel. When I was going around, I told the people, there is no way that UPND can come and reduce petrol and i gave reasons i said look we are uh, selling fuel in zambia at 17 kwacha per liter the reason is that there are subsidies there we've suspended taxes we've suspended the three kwacha fuel levy in order for us to reach at 17 kwacha above all what we've been doing is that the three kwacha fuel levy that we're collecting was being put aside such that when the international prices come then we take that through quarter to subsidize but for you pnd to say no we'll do this we'll do this and the pump price will come to 12 quarter i said this is practically impossible whether, whether peer for you and i've been vindicated whether peer for you pnd dr kamwili was it tenable for this country in the state of the economy to put subsidies on fuel and electricity when was it tenable to be a good leader to be a good leader you must also take into account the living standards of the poor people. Why do we subsidize? Is to cushion the poor people. Today, the poor people, without giving them any, uh, 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 any facility that will cushion this increment, are now suffering more than they were suffering before mm. the price. That is why we, we got that three quarter fuel levy, mm. such that when the price goes up, we can use the three quarter to push on the but, poor but, 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 but I'm asking you, was this tenable, especially that Zambia was sitting at a $14 billion external debt and a $20 billion quarter, uh, internal debt to retirees and, and, and pensioners? So these subsidies, where, where was government going to continue getting this money? Because you know for a fact, as a seasoned uh, a governor uh, uh, yourself, having sat in parliament, having been minister, I have that, told just you. Just hold on, that in the last two budget cycles honorable kambwili 
90% of whatever income we're getting was going towards emoluments as well as debt financing. That's what I'm talking about. So, 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 so subsidies that? were not going to be tenable, That's whether PF listen. or UPND. No, 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 no. We ran these subsidies on fuel. Do you know for how long the price of fuel was stable under PF? Do you know for how long the price of fuel was stable under PF without increment? For three years. And the poor people were cushioned. EA is but, about but what, happened caring. To, what, what happened to debt? Well, I told you that when all is well, the price is good. We used to collect three, is it three quacha per liter to put aside in a sinking fund such that when the price goes up, we start using that, that money to subsidize. Does any sinking fund exist because... Uh, uh, look, go on. That's the. No, when, when, uh, I'll say this. I'll say this. Even we, we interviewed people under the PF. There was a sinking fund. By then, Minister of Finance had announced that we're putting a sinking fund towards paying the bullet point of the first euro bond. What we were told after the first cholera disaster is that that sinking fund was used. There was a, an emergency. There was use. There was an emergency. Uh, look at what happened to the reserves. We, was, were, we were less than six weeks of import cover, Doctor Kambu. When. PF left office, we were at five months import cover. Five months import cover when PF left office. How much are we at today? That's why I'm saying these people cannot be trusted because they flip flopped on everything that they promised the people of Zambia. You know that they promised that they were going to have a uh, uh, free education from necessary to tertiary education. What is the meaning of the word tertiary? What is the well, meaning of the word the, you and I? They've begun to implement the free education. Just look after the announcement of results. They have begun implementing this. They have put out memos on what is to be paid, what is not to be paid. You are the same person, Costa, who's telling me that subsidies are not sustainable. Well, the, I, I, I am not. Costa, I am not a politician. I am you, asking. I am asking. You are the one. I am asking the tenability. You are the one of, of those subsidies. Do you know what that On free education has? Debt. Do you know what that free education has uh, translated into? For this financial year, 2022, the government, in order to actualize the budget, which also includes free education, is going to borrow 4.6 billion dollars because somebody was careless he told the people i will introduce free education when he knew that there was no money to introduce free education the only question i can ask you uh, is, no, no, quoting, listen, is quoting the finance minister listen. and asking you whether you agree or not they're saying they've removed those subsidies to push in areas like free education in areas of recruiting 30,000 you know teachers 11,200 health workers which they say they'll recruit in uh, March into June, you know, this year. So Costa, you are in disagreement that this is not possible. It is not correct. It cannot work. It is not correct. In fact, to tell you the but truth. But these are the things you were promising. In fact, to tell you, you the were truth, promising the people let, together let, when you were in the let, UPND alliance. Let me tell you one thing, Costa. Mm. In fact, to tell you the truth, mm. there is no subsidy that has been removed on fuel. These guys have only increased the price of fuel. Mm. It is only yesterday that... Uh, 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 oil marketing companies were saying how do we bring in the fuel when you announce that you've removed the uh, you've m removed the duty do you know what they did they issued an instruction that the duty continues being suspended in the meantime the price has gone up so in short there is no subsidy that has been removed they've just increased the pump price of fuel and that is why i'm saying they are inconsistent you cannot trust them. They are telling people that tighten up your belts because we have to meet the, uh, the, 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 the set uh, conditions by the IMF. We've been told to tighten up our belts before. But the situation would not have been different Let me, even had the PF won the election. The PF you know were still why? quoting the IMF. You, yes, we're quoting the, the IMF. The PF were quoting the IMF. The reserves were still bad under the PF. The no, dollar no, no, was still no, bad under I the have PF. Told you. Poverty was rife under Costa, the PF. Costa. So these things would have still come. The Costa. PF were going to remove subsidies either way. Costa. If those were the IMF conditions. Costa. Mm. The PF 
we're going to remove subsidies, but gradually, not at a given time. Do this is an action by capitalists who don't care about the poor people. The PF had a plan, yes, and that is why it took long to agree with the IMF because we're saying, look. To just remove electrical electricity tariffs and uh, 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 ter uh, I mean subsidies to, to remove subsidies on electricity and subsidies mm. on fuel at a go will affect the poor people. The the, the situation the anger situation was going to be worsened. So we're saying, can we agree that at least these are done gradually? So there was this discussions, but our friends because they don't care about the poor people, they just come and implement. And now go in the compound and see how the if, people if are suffering. If they today. don't care about the poor people, how come they've increased CDF to 25.7 million? That that's a government surely ought to become willing that, that that cares. If they don't care about the poor people, um, a government that puts up free education is a government that you, cares. You don't if they don't care about the people, a government that puts sanity and order in markets and bus stops where people are being beaten day and night people by, still, PF, by PF thugs is a government that cares for the people. That's why I'm saying the problem with you reporters, you are so scared about governments in power and no, you I'm also asking, contribute. I'm, ask, I'm asking, listen, you, I'm asking you, you questions you, of, no, of, of haven't we seen no, sanity no, no, return? No, no, you are speaking like government. Where have you seen this sanity? Mm, people you, are still, deny, you deny, people are, still, are people being beaten by, by cutters? Too much. People are being beaten up to now. Like it was PS the PS. Whether it is the same level or it's not at the same level, people are being Has beaten. Has it reduced? It has reduced, yes. So you can accept that but they are working towards bringing sanity. What is that? Which, which your party, what will, which the, the insanity which your party left. I will leave you to talk if you no, want which to your talk party what I'm left. talking. Mm. If you want to talk what I'm talking, I will leave you to talk. Mm. Because when you ask a question, you give me time to explain. Now if I'm talking, you're also talking. Then <laughs> we are not uh, mm. conversating. Mm. So can we give one another chance to explain? Go ahead. I was saying, this issue that they are saying there is no capitalism in the markets anymore. It's not true. Just two days ago, I was watching on, uh, on, uh, on uh, 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 what is this? Uh, this TV for Pastor Chiluba. Come huh. TV. He, where Kadas wanted to take over a cooperative, a, a market cooperative, that they start running it, where they sell timber. And there was almost a near punch up. So when we say this Kadarism is only uh, not there in the mouth of President Againde Ichilema, and not in reality. I was in Eastern Province. You know what the people in the, in the, the UPND cadres are doing at Petawuke? All the buses that are going to, Ch to Chipata, whether there are people disembarking at Petawuke or not, they turn those buses to go into Petawuke town. They collect 60,000 from each bus, and then they, they let the bus go. So that has not stopped. There are a lot of cadres who are collecting money in the markets, UPND cadres. And what they are, that, that is the problem with our brother, Againde Ichilema. He says one thing when they are doing uh, the other thing. So, this issue of capitalism has not come to an end completely. Look the other week, so, so, so could William you say, could, you, could you say there's progress? It's a gradual you know, exercise, it's a gradual process. We want it to come to an end completely. The issue of capitalism... Stopping capitalism can be done today. If the UPND can send the police and say, whoever you find in the market, arrest. Have you ever heard that instruction? No instruction has been given. Nobody has been arrested. Those who are collecting money in the, in the markets and at the bus station, which means they are tolerating it. But they want to create an impression to the whole world that they are doing better than PF, when in actual fact, they are also behaving exactly the way PF card has behaved. And that is why, given another chance as PF, Will do better because we have now seen and realized that certain things should never be done. Do you admit that there was lawlessness? Yes, there the was. PF? Yes, there you was. You agree that there was arrogance under the people? Yes, there was. You agree that the poor people were marginalized? Yes. You agree. That is why the people of Zambia voted PFR. So, what, what, what makes so when they vote you out, now you're the one who they want me to ask. It's a time now to you, reflect. You, now you're the you one. Ask. <laughs> so, so you I was everybody. leading you somewhere. So, if you agree those things, what convinces you that the Zambians want PF back after putting them through so much hardship in the last, you know, ten years? PF made mistakes like cadarism. There's a, a, a little bit of arrogance from some of the government officials. But when you look at uh, 
larger picture, the development that PF has brought to this country is unprecedented. Now, if PF can go back to the people, we go back to the people and tell him, we are sorry, people of Zambia, and will not do those wrong things that they are doing. I don't think the people of Zambia would reject the PF. Looking at the massive development and the plan that we had, I told you uh, when I lastly appeared on, uh, on, uh, on, on, on TV that the PF had a plan. The plan was that in the first 15 years, we're going to concentrate on infrastructure development because there is no investor who's going to come to an area where there's no hospital, there's no clinic, there's no schools, there's no electricity. From 1,000, 1,000 is 1,200 megawatts of electricity that PF found. We are now producing over 2,000 megawatts of electricity. Here in Lusaka today, if PF did not do the roads, people could have been going to work with bicycles. We have so many vehicles, but there are so many roads that have been expanded, dual carriageways, new ring roads being built. Can you imagine that five years ago, with the roads that we had, or ten years ago, people could have been driving but, but, in Lusaka? But, but at what cost compared to the quality of the roads? Well, the roads have been built. And these are things you condemned yourself? Some of the roads, yes, the some of the roads were substandard, I agree. And the, pli the prices were overinflated. You, you, you gave examples. That, you see, that is why I'm saying this government, mm. this government which is here today, is worse than what was obtaining in the PF. They condemned that you cannot spend one million dollars per kilometer, one million dollars per kilometer. Today they've signed a contract to do 200 kilometers of roads in Western Province and the, some part of Copper Belt and Northwestern at 1,800, 1 1.8 million dollars per kilometer. That's why I said, let me get out of this quagmire that I want to, 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 to involve myself into and go back to PF, work on the mistakes that we're making as PF Start listening to the people, respect the Zambian people, stop cardalism, and let we continue mm. with the development trajectory. It's, 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 it's not magic or, or, or simple science, Honorable Kambuli, that people will just, you know, uh, believe anybody who comes back and says, we are sorry, we did this, because, you know, power corrupts, and that's what we've seen when people are in leadership. Why are you saying your friends stop listening? You, you said these words. You, your friends stop listening. So, so what is it going to take in this rebrand, and, and especially that you feel you are the right person to, to, to lead as PF president? What will it take? We've seen the MMD booted out of power. They've literally failed to come back. They're on their knees. We saw UNEP. Now it's the PF. How will the PF situation be different from MMD and UNEP? Because in PF we are reasonable. Because in PF we are reasonable. Reasonable in that we have to unite. When you unite, nothing is impossible. You saw that in, in the MMD there were too many divisions. You saw that in UNIP there were too many divisions. But as PF we are trying by all means to avoid the divisions so that we speak as a unit, we talk as one, and the people of Zambia will believe in us. Costa.